Good morning and welcome everyone to this morning Holy Eucharistic celebration on fourth Sunday of Advent. Let's pray for divine retreat center summers be. Heavenly Father, let your eyes be opened night and day upon the divine retreat center summers be. May your holy presence fill this house of prayer. In this your temple, may the rejected feel accepted. The depressed find hope, the wounded find healing. Protect your home from all afflictions, and let your Holy Spirit rest upon it. Praise you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Entrance and defend. He who is to come and will not delay, and now there will be no fear within our land, for he is our Savior. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Dear loving children of God, as we are on the fourth Sunday of the season of Advent, let us look into our own self personally, and offering our personal self at uh, the feet of Jesus and ask the Lord for cleansing and purifying our personal life, preparing a beautiful crib in our own hearts to welcome Jesus' coming days, especially on the day of Christmas. Brethren, let us acknowledge our failures and shortcomings. So prepare ourselves to celebrate this sacred mystery in a worthy manner. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, eternal majesty, whose ineffable word the Immaculate Virgin received through the message of an angel, so became the dwelling place of divinity filled with the light of the Holy Spirit. Grant, we pray that by her example, we may in hum humility hold fast to your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Be seated for readings. <clears throat> the 
The first reading, a reading from the second book of Samuel. Once David had settled in to his house, and the Lord had given him rest from all the enemies surrounding him, the king said to the prophet Nathan, Look, I am living in the house of Seder, while the ark of God dwells in a tent. Nathan said to the king, Go and do all that is in your mind, for the Lord is with you. But that very night, the word of the Lord came to Nathan. Go and tell my servant David, Thus the Lord speaks. Are you the man to build me a house to dwell in? I took you from the pasture, from following the sheep, to be the leader of the, my people Israel. I have been with you all on all your expeditions. I have cut off all your enemies before you. I will give you fame as great as the fame of the greatest on earth. I will provide a place for my people Israel. I will plant them there and they shall dwell in the place and never be disturbed again. Nor shall, be, shall the wicked continue to oppress them as they did in the days when I appointed judges over my people Israel. I will give them rest from all their enemies. The Lord will make you great. The Lord will make you a house. And when your days are ended, you are to be laid to rest with your ancestors. I will preserve the offspring of your body after you and make this sovereignty secure. I will be a father to them and he is son to me. Your house and your sovereignty will stand secure before me and your throne be established forever. This is the word of the Lord. Your response shall be, Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Through the all ages my mouth will proclaim your truth. Of this I am sure, that your love lasts forever, that your truth is firmly established as the heavens. Your response? Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn to David my servant. I will establish your dynasty forever and set up your throne through all ages. Your response? Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. He will say to me, you are my father, my God, the rock who saves me. I will keep my love from him always. From, for him, my covenant shall endure. Your response? Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. The second reading. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Glory to him who is able to give you strength to live according to the good news I preach, and in which I proclaim Jesus Christ, the revelation of the mystery, kept secret for endless ages, but now so clear that it must be broadcast to pagans everywhere to bring them to the obedience of faith. This is only what the scripture has, has predicted, and it is all part of the way the eternal God wants things to be. He alone is wisdom. Give glory, therefore, to him, to Jesus Christ, 
forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Please stand for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia. I am the servant of the Lord. May, this, may his will be done. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth. To a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. He went in and said to her, Rejoice, so highly favored, the Lord is with you. She was deeply disturbed by these words and asked herself what this greeting could mean. But the angel said to her, Mary, do not be afraid. You have won God's favor. Listen, you are to conceive and bear a son. You must name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of the ancestor David. He will rule over the house of Jacob forever and his reign will have no end. Mary said to the angel, But how can this come about? Since I am a virgin, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, the angel answered, and the power of the Most High will cover you with its shadow. So the child will be holy and will be called Son of God. Now this too, your kinswoman Elizabeth has in her old age herself conceived a son. And she whom people called barren is now in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible to God. I am the handmaid of the Lord, said Mary. Let what you have said be done to me. And the angel left her. The Gospel of the Lord. Dear loving children of God, as we are already nearing the days of Christmas, as we are today on the fourth Sunday of Advent, a beautiful passage is given to us connected with Christmas. I want to share this with you that when Mother Mary, when Mary heard this salutation from Angel Gabriel, she was asking this question. She said to Angel Gabriel, but how can this come about? This may be a question not only for Mary, when we look into our personal life today, especially in the present world, Maybe in the busy world or in the complex life situations, we do say or we do ask the same thing, but how can this come about? How can I do this? How is, what's the meaning of all this about? Dear brothers and sisters, the exactly the same question Mother Mary asked to the angel, how can this come about? Because for her, she cannot think about being pregnant without the help of a man. Not only for her, it's just for everyone. Something so, something so uh, secret or a big mystery that she found pregnant without the help of a man. Nobody can understand. So that is the time she asked this question, 
how can this come about because for her it is impossible to think to be or to carry a child without the help of a man so it's something so impossible something i never imagine something i believe it won't happen to my life so that is the situation she asked this question how can this come about a natural just an ordinary a plain question very suitable apt question to the gabriel how can this come about no question and no complaints when we hear this question from mary how how can this come about you know what was the answer the answer is given to this question by the angel is this holy spirit will come on you the power of the most high will overshadow you this is the answer dear loving children of god when we have the same question in our personal life how this all about how can i do this what's the meaning of all this about in my life the only one answer to this question holy spirit will strengthen you and help you holy spirit will come and overshadow you and help you to do this and when you go on reading what holy spirit is done it is said for nothing is impossible to god when holy spirit comes to a person when holy spirit will take charge on a person when holy spirit will take hold on a person then nothing is impossible to that person nothing so i conclude what i want to share with you today something so beautiful that i found these days mother mary a genuine and very ordinary and plain natural question from her life situation how can how can this come about how this will be what's the point of this in my life how can i do this these are the normal questions these are the normal life situations in my life in your life answer the same answer holy spirit will come upon you the more power of the most high will overshadow you and then when it comes nothing is impossible for the spirit of god the father the son and the holy spirit can we all stand up and we proclaim our faith in Christ i believe in god the father almighty creator of heaven and earth and in jesus christ his only son our lord who was conceived by the holy spirit born of the virgin mary suffered and conscious fire was crucified died and was buried he descended into hell On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sin, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Pause for a moment. offer all our prayer petitions at the feet of Jesus remembering the whole world that is struggling with the covid-19 virus all that's happening in our state in new south wales connected with this pandemic praying for god's protection
praying for the whole Catholic Church, the people who need God's help. And our personal life, as we are preparing to celebrate this great feast, all those who requested our prayers today. We make all these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Be seated for of a tree. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the wine, the work of human hands, it will become a spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, O oh Lord, we pray upon the one sacrifice of your Son, that by participating in this mystery, we may possess at last the gifts we have awaited, for which our faith bid us hope through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, so fulfilled the design you formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest. We who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thorns and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without the end we acclaim. Holy, holy Lord. God of us, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, gave it to his disciples saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that the partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Anthony, a bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her devoted spouse, Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we might merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed to by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from it. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we might be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace, I leave you. My peace I give you. Look not on our sins, 
but on the faith of your church, graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lambo. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. That you should admire of, but only say a word, my soul shall be healed. Those who are not able to go to church today physically, this is your time of spiritual communion. You can join along with me when I do this prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the body and the blood of Christ keep us to have eternal life.
Dear loving children of God, uh, today, 20th December to 31st December, there won't be a night adoration and benediction at 9 to 9.30 p.m., but we do normally. But uh, all these days, the Holy Eucharistic celebration will be there as normal and usual at 8 a.m., including on 25th uh, December, all these days, 8 a.m., and then 31st, the New Year Eve, there will be live streaming. Uh, we have se uh, services start 8.30 onwards, confessions, but 9.30 onwards, live streaming, Thanksgiving Adoration 2020 and entering into 2021 with the Holy Mass. So 9.30 to 12 o'clock will be live streaming, uh, Thanksgiving Adoration and the Holy Mass. And 1st Jan onwards, we continue the services, morning mass and evening adoration. First Jan being the first Friday of the month and we have live streaming evening at 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. Rest all as usual. Let us pray. <clears throat> Grant divine protection, O Lord, to those you renew with this heavenly gift, that to those who delight in your mysteries, you may give the joy of true peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Mass is ended. Glorify God by our lives. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Prayer for priest, O Jesus, eternal priest. Keep all your praise with us. Keep your and unearthly their hearts, seal with the sublime marks of your glorious priesthood. Let your holy love surround them and shield them from the world's contagion. Bless their labors with abundant fruit, and may the souls to whom they have ministered be their joy and consolation, and in heaven their beautiful and everlasting crown. O Mary, Queen of the clergy, pray for us. O many holy priests, amen.